This is episode 70 of season two of the Launch Your Biz Now podcast, the podcast for all new and aspiring business owners. Okay, so you, if you've been following along for a little while now, you will know that I am absolutely excited about AI or artificial intelligence. So I jumped on the AI train pretty early when ChatGPT, so pretty early in relative terms to um, this all latest sort of craziness, um, when ChatGPT came out at the end of 2022. And I knew when I first saw it then and tried it out when it was in its infancy, I thought, geez, this is going to be big. This is going to be an absolute game changer to our world. Like now that this is out, you know, there's been things that have happened in history that have absolutely changed the way that we do life and do business, you know. One thing you might compare it to is maybe, you know, when we used to use horse and cart or used to use horses for transport, do you think anyone foresaw that so fast horses would become redundant and we'd have these motorized vehicles getting people around? I don't think so. It was a game changer. It was something that absolutely, you know, took over and changed the world and the way that we live. Um, same thing when the internet came out and with tech and computers and, you know, all of these things. Well, I think AI is this next shift. And you might've heard me say that I think the next five years in business is going to be, you know, thrown on its head. We are in for a wild ride. We're going to see more change in the next five years than I think we have seen in the last 10, 20, probably my whole professional career, um, so I was at school when computers, in high school, when computers started coming out as, as mainstream and had dial-up internet until I was in my 20s. Um, so we've seen a bit change there, but this is going to be a big shift. So, you know, you, I've done a fair few episodes on this now where I've mentioned it and um, sort of introduced you to it. And you'll notice now, so the launches of my course is finished now. Um, and doing launches or any sale or promotion or anything that you're doing in your business like that, it takes a lot of energy. It's really big. So I hadn't been able to really focus on this for the last month or so as much as I would like, but you'll notice now because there's going to be a theme of these, um, podcast episodes coming out where I am focusing on this because I am diving in, I am embracing it. And I want to share my learnings with you guys as I am discovering it and trialing it in my business, in my life and where, you know, where I think this is going, what's happening in the industry, all those sorts of things. Uh, just a disclaimer, I have got Harry, my 10 month old home with me today. He's just started childcare, but he is sick. Um, that wonderful thing when they're starting. So you might hear him in the background and I was going to wait. But I'm too excited about this and I just want to talk about this now why it's fresh in my brain. So hopefully that's not too disturbing for you. Um, okay, big topic for this uh, podcast ep episode. Will I AI replace humans? Oh my God, maybe I shouldn't have done this. So huge topic. And I think it's something, you know, you've got early adopters when things come out where people like me that are embrace things. You've got people that are a bit more mainstream that wait until the early adopters try it out and let you know how they're using it and let you know that it's okay. And then those generalists sort of jump on board, which is where, you know, a lot of people sit. And, um, you know, a lot of the times I'm a generalist too. I don't, I don't know what it is with the AI thing that's made me jump on board so early, but um, I definitely saw this as a big potential. So generalist, so I think a lot of people are jumping into it now. So I think most of us, so they had more growth with ChatGPT in that company with user sign up than anything else in the world in companies. So Twitter, Facebook, you know, any of the likes of these things, ChatGPT has more users than any of them. So it just shows how fast this is happening and how fast it is growing. So ChatGPT uses artificial intelligence to create content. So this is a text-based software ChatGPT is. Um, they, there is all sorts of AI tools. So, um, just an example, they used AI to teach a computer how to play chess. It took four hours for that AI program 
playing against itself to become the best chess player in the world. So that's a bit scary. So in four hours, it can beat the world's best chess player, which has, you know, been playing that for their whole life. I would hate to know how many hours in four hours. So if you are in pretty much any industry right now, you Mm. might be sitting there being a little bit concerned about what's going to happen with your job, because if it can learn a strategic game like chess in four hours, how long until it can do taxes, write legal documents, you know, uh, or answer our customer support, create content. A lot of this stuff it's actually already doing, which is um, a little bit scary. But yeah, so um, it's coming and we can either embrace it and understand it and get on the front foot of this or we can be swept and uh, potentially loot the battle against AI um, in your job and in your business. So what do you want to be? So what got me sorted on this? So today I've been playing around with ChatGPT um, on the legal side of things. So, um, obviously in the course, I help people set up businesses and there's a big component of this that's legal. So there's all of these areas, um, that people normally need to get pay for advice and pay for, you know, legal templates to get things set up in their business, like privacy policies and terms of agreements and, um, you know, contracts and any of these sorts of things, heads of agreements, if you're buying a business, contract of sale, if you're buying a business partnership agreement, if you are going in partnership with someone, all these things cost a lot of money. Now, I wanted to have a play for myself to see how AI goes at generating these. So I put in a really simple one, first of all, is write me a privacy policy for my website for my online course business. Bang, it really had a better privacy policy than the template that I'd brought online for my privacy policy for the business, which is insane. So um, I'm now updated my privacy policy to a chat GPT privacy policy that they have generated, um, which is amazing. You know, privacy policy is pretty easy because it's a pretty generic sort of uh, policy or content. Um, that every single website needs to have. So if you don't have one, jump on ChatGPT, create one and put it on your website. (laughs) Um, Then I tried my website terms of agreements for an online business. So I stipulated that, used that um, as my prompt to ask it to write a privacy, no, terms of agreements for a online course business for my website. Um, And it gave me great (laughs) terms of agreement again, again, better than the templated ones I had purchased for my business when I was getting started. So for a new business getting started, amazing, you know, have a play. Obviously there's a disclaimer and as the business grows and as the business establishes and depending on what sort of um, agreements you are getting it to write, there will be absolutely still a need for solicitors and personal advice. But hey, for any of this generic stuff that we can do, Let's do it. So anyway, so that got me started on it. Then um, I was thinking about some of the different things. So um, chat GPT-3 is what we're using now. Chat GPT-4 is in the works now. And it's going to have an updated library of information. So chat GPT-3, I can't remember what the end date is, but it hasn't got the last couple of years of content. Um, in there because it was has the content up to the date it was created. Have to Google that date if you want to know what that cutoff point is. Chat GPT four will have that updated to relevant dates to today, which is very exciting. Chat GPT four will also have video and audio. Um, another use that I'm excited to try for this is shares. When assessing share, shares, I buy you know I've got a bit of a, my finance background and I um, buy shares regularly, like. When I can use ChatGPT or any of these AI softwares to um, assess what shares the best performing based on what inputs I put in, like how cool is that for my investment journey? Like just doing all of that research for me um, is amazing. Um, so, all right, I'm back. All right. Anyway, the other thing that I checked out today before I jump into the actual question and the point of the topic is. Uh, ChatGPT or OpenAI, sorry, have released a new product called 
Dal E. So D A L L dot E. And I had a bit of a play with this today. So this is a picture generator. So I'm going to post a photo on my Instagram that I asked it to generate for me. So it uses AI to generate pictures of whatever you want. So this can be a cartoon, a realistic picture, you know, an abstract, an illustration, you name what type of picture, it will create it using AI. And so I've been having to play with that today. So if you've got a business that you need uh, graphics for or pictures or whatever it is, check out Dow.e. It is insane what it can do. So I was prompting it. I've got something I've been working on, which I'm, um, you know, is mums in business. So where I call us super mums in business. Um, and oh, I wanted it to create a graphic around that, which is a mum in her, you know, work uniform, kids at toe with her cape on, super mum style, you know, like conquering the world, like something like that. So I went through and got it to create all these variations of that and it came up with some cool stuff. Still have a play with it, but I only spent a couple of minutes on it. So yeah, jump in, have a play with that. Okay, so purpose of that, that's a bit more information and a bit of stuff that you can check out. But I wanted to talk today about will AI replace humans? So you might remember uh, back in the end of last year, I did an episode, I think, where I talked about the AI onion. So this is a coin that I've developed when I, you know, what I think the potential of the AI world is and where it's going and what the layers are and where we're at. So this was back then when there wasn't as much information out as there is now. So this is just what I saw coming and when I thought that it was going to get to being an absolute game changer. And it's getting closer guys. So I've got another layer for the onion for you. So um, the outside of the layer of the onion was automation. So it was, um, you know, programs like ManyChat and um, uh, Zapier, all these sorts of things that are automation softwares where you can get software to talk to each other and things to work in with each other. So I was like, all right, that's the first layer. That's what we need to start getting this stuff working because we need it to happen without us doing it. Otherwise, it's still very manual. The next layer was the actual artificial intelligence. So this was, or is things like ChatGPT, Dell E, all of these, you know, artificial intelligent programs that I've been talking about and I've shared and um, there's so many that are out there in the world at the moment. So these are the next layer. So then I'd said the third layer and what was important and when this was going to become a game changer was when we could use these together. So when ChatGPT or, you know, a text producing uh, platform could then talk and marry in with other platforms. So, you know, the example I gave back then was I'm looking forward to when for every new follower um, I get on Instagram as an example, I can send them an automatic message through automation, like ManyChat or whatever it might be, or through bots or whatever that says, hey, thanks for the follow, welcome aboard. You know, here's a bit about what I do. Where are you up to in your journey? And then from, so I've got something like that that I do now, it's pretty manual. Um, but then from there, the person writes back and goes, hey, like awesome to connect. Um, I am, I've just set up a business. Um, and then that's the stage that they're at. So then the AI program can write back and go, oh, wow, that's awesome. Like, you know, what have you done so far? What have you found challenge? Like, you know, start engaging in, in conversation with this person. And then again, the person's writing back and that bot's actually giving them useful information. So it keeps them engaged. Like, oh, you know, if you're um, trying to work on your marketing, maybe you can try this. Or if you're trying to build the business, this, you know, all these sorts of things that can keep that conversation happening, which the more followers you get, the harder it is to do. And if I know that, that this bot's providing the information that I would provide, and maybe I can feed that into it or, or work with it to make sure it responds correctly to that, then that's powerful. So that was sort of where I was going with it and thinking, all right, once it can do that sort of stuff and we can use this in real life without taking, with taking that manual component out, game changer. So what I've learned. So first of all, 
the AI that we're sort of familiar with right now is what we call narrow AI. So this is where, like what I was saying there, it's, you know, it's in its own lane. So you, they're not interacting with each other. You can put in a prompt and it will give you the outcome, but it's not talking to other software providers. It's not reacting um, without you following a certain prompt system to get it to react to you. So there's all these awesome, you know, narrow AI programs out there from photo, um, creating text, audio, uh, voice, like just, you know, it's huge. So when all of these can work in with each other, that's when we're hitting that game change that I'm talking about. And I don't think we are that far away. So before it really Christmas, when I was thinking about this, I was thinking a few years, I am honestly thinking it's, it's going to be 2023. We're going to see this come to light. If they're not there already, they're very close. And from what they've been saying about chat GPT four and some of the things coming out, it's very, very close. Um, so that's called general AI. So it combines all of the areas of narrow AI. This is going to be insane. It's like for your business, having a free virtual assistant. That's what it's going to be like. How amazing is this? Mind blowing. Also think about this stuff. So you can incorporate now, you can uh, use ChatGPT in your software and your programs and things like that. You can get plugins sort of thing. So if you've got any software that you can make better, you can add this feature in now. So you're using artificial intelligence in your business already. So think about how you could potentially use that and what that might look like. So that's a bit of a deep dive. So will our AI replace humans? Well, it's now a competition against humans and AI, isn't it? Because in one sense, um, I think all functional tasks are going to be replaced. So us as founders, as entrepreneurs, as creators, whatever you want to call yourself, we need to put ourselves as that creator and position yourself in that space. You are the thought leader in that space. That means that AI, AI is not going to be able to replace what you're saying because you are saying something differently. You are doing something differently. So we need to be very, very clear on what that is. But at the same time, utilizing the heck out of AI, because why do things hard, guys? So you want to be the thought leader, not the doer. If you are in a doer role right now, then you should be starting to really think about how you're going to shift your business because I promise you it's coming. And if you don't start thinking about it, you are going to be lost. One last little thing I want to say about it is be very careful when this all comes out because when the world, so we've seen the algorithms of TikTok and all these sorts of things, which is an AI algorithm, which gets you in there. So you scroll, 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 it finds out what you likes and it feeds you more of that. When this is controlled by really, really powerful AI and they know exactly what type of content you like, exactly the right, right way, exactly the right, you know, everything about it is tailored to you. You can be down a rabbit hole like you, it's going to just keep feeding it to you. So you can either be a consumer of this or you can be a creator of this. So have a think about it, guys. It's coming. Hopefully this gets you thinking about it a bit more. Have a play. If you've got any thoughts on this space, please share it with me because I love it. Anyway, that's it for me today. I better go save Harry. I will chat to you soon. Bye.